Okay. All right, everybody, welcome. Woo! Welcome. Hi. Hi. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Good to see everyone here. YouTubers out there watching us live, thank you so much for coming. We're going to be watching down here on the chat, so we'll be looking up and down and everything. Great to and, see everybody. Um, again, we just want to uh, do a quick mic check, please, if someone could just say how we sound and you know let us know. Christy will be doing that as well in the uh, in moderating as well. So we're just going to take a look to make sure you can see us and hear us. It looks like you can. It looks, looks good. Looks like we're all good. Yeah, great to have you guys. Yeah. Okay. Super excited that you're here to join us for our big announcement. Okay. Christy suggests we should get closer. We need to get closer. Okay, we'll move up a little bit. Okay, hopefully this will help. And we'll try and talk loud too. All right, how's that guys? <laughs> Just uh, let us know now if this is better volume. You can hear us a little bit better. Someone, Chrissy, if you could let us know. Okay, we're getting here. We're getting good. It's a little quiet. Can you move the mic a little closer? Great, yeah. <laughs> Let's try that. It'll be in the shot a little bit probably, but okay, that sounds good. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. We're getting a lot of yeses and a lot of things, so. We're doing a different setup than we usually do for this event, so testing it out. All right, good evening, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming out there in on YouTube, etc. We have a live garden off uh, audience, not a studio audience, a garden <laughs> audience. So we have our host family friends here. We also have some special guests in the audience, so hopefully, uh, time. Um, uh, later on prevailing we'll uh, introduce them as well so thank you again all for coming we'll just tell everybody right now we're gonna have another child <laughs> <laughs> no we're not we're not we're not Cheers. we're too old for that <laughs> okay kim has a new raised planter bed that's it no that's not it <laughs> all right so we're gonna tell you here shortly uh what we're gonna do here let me just follow this so we're gonna take a quick minute look on the chat you guys and we're gonna see who's here from what country because i know we have a friend out in germany who is staying up right. it's midnight out there yeah. and she said i'm going to get a bat a plate of snacks and stay up and watch you guys yay so, for germany yeah. so our friend out in germany uh ranka thank you so much that's for you all right so let's hear let's see who's here let us know in the comments and kim you can just Cole read them out. from nova scotia how are you doing Cole? wow great nova to have you here oh sorry i just refreshed the page <laughs> So my chat is refreshing. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Jessica from New Jersey. PJ in South Carolina from the Central Coast of California. Linda. Kathy, my sister from the Oregon Coast. Hi, Kathy and Randy. Great to see you guys here. And let's see. Jack from Maryland. We have someone from Ontario. UK, Reese Chapman. Melanie from Kansas, people from all over the world, so it's really exciting. Yeah, Charmaine in the Bay Area, San Francisco area, she says it's 90 degrees up there. Uh, wow. Great. Yeah, we're hot down here too as well. Texas, great, great to have you guys. Connecticut, Vegas, South Africa. Wow, Zena. Very cool. Awesome. Jessica in SoCal, cool. Alabama, man, New York, this is great. Great to see everybody here. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I want to just start off by telling you all that uh, this is a huge achievement. Uh, for Kim. So, so giving you a little bit of a hint there. But uh, Kim uh, kind of has always wanted to do this and you know was always just like I wonder, wonder if I'll ever get the opportunity to do something like she's been working on for the past year in secret. We haven't said anything about it and um, I can't tell you just how proud I, I am. Sorry. No. How proud I am of her for uh, what she's done here because during this whole project uh, not only has she, you know, run run the business or business office and stuff, but um, she's also just, you know, ran the house, taking care of the family and, and all that, all the while she was working on this um, special project. So I'm really, really proud of you. No, thanks, son. Yay! Mm -hmm. You can cry already. I know. I think I would. Um, so I really just think from here, though, Kim, you really ought to just tell everybody what's what's going on here. Okay, well, as Jerry said, I didn't think that I would ever be able to do this. I, actually, in the middle of the process, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish, but I had the opportunity. Um, someone told me, Kim, you got this. And Camera Guy did that too, but it was also another author friend of mine, and she was able to connect me with a publisher. And here it is, guys. I've written a gardening book. Yeah! <laughs> Very hard on it for nearly a year. 
and I've kept it quiet and it is going to be released on December 10th. So I know that seems a long ways away, but it's available right now for pre-sale. So it's super, super exciting. I just can't wait to, for you guys to see it. It's just, I put my heart and soul into it. And I know you guys are going to love it too. So I want to take uh, just a couple of seconds just to share a little bit more about what that process was like for Kim though, because there were definitely some phases of that where there was excitement, there was the low valleys, and then there was the light at the end of the tunnel part. So just tell us a little bit about when, you, you know, someone was interested in you and what that felt like for them to say, yeah, let's do the book. I honestly couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that they wanted me to do it and that they felt like I had enough to share to actually write down and actually publish my work. So it was a pretty incredible feeling. And just to be able to communicate what I love to do with people, it was just such an amazing opportunity. Okay, what about uh, the difficult points? There were a lot of difficult points. Um, it's one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my life. Um, just to organize it, put it all together, figure out what I wanted to communicate, and then communicate it in a way that people could actually understand and would be easy for people to follow. And there are many, many days where I sat and stared at this computer and I did not know what to write. So that was probably the hardest part, is just trying to figure out how to communicate it in a way that people would really understand and appreciate. So tell us about deadlines, writers' <laughs> deadlines. We've all heard about that. We've seen it in shows and stuff. How did you handle all that? It was very stressful. Um, thankfully, um, the publisher didn't require me to have everything until about six months out from when I started. I didn't have too many little deadlines, so it gave me a big yeah. wide window of opportunity. But when it came down to those deadlines and the photography deadlines, because i got to tell you guys about that in just a minute, um, that was probably the most stressful part. So tell us a little bit about the deepest part, the darkest part? Um, I can. I, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should tell about that. <laughs> okay, I, I will. You just chime in. And rightly so, though. I mean, there was a point where Kim just felt like she couldn't do it. She couldn't go on anymore. And uh, she just felt this, this pressure of having this deadline and having to have content. And there were times she said that she would just, you know, sit and nothing would flow. And, um, you know, I just tried to encourage her and give her the space and stuff that she needed, you know, just to um, alleviate that pressure from her. And there was really a time where you kind of were, were just almost like, um, I, don't, I don't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Yeah. <laughs> so um, tell us about how you, get, how you managed through that. Well, um, when I had those moments, I honestly, I prayed a lot. <laughs> I just asked God to give me the words. And then I came out here and just wandered around and, and got some inspiration and of course Jerry and the rest of my family and my kids were just a huge encouragement to me and just kept on kept me going they didn't get mad when the house wasn't clean when I didn't have dinner ready I probably didn't cook for about six months <laughs> <laughs> but um and especially Jerry just always being there and never just saying come on you can do this keep on going keep on, keep at it keep at it I never would have made it I never would have made it without you <laughs> Yeah, I will say there was a part too where Kim just, you did say, I need more help. You know, I'm, I'm kind of under right now and, you know, I just need more help with clean up things, you know, that, that type of thing. And we did go out maybe a little bit more, but that was, you know, just to take the pressure off of cooking and things like that. Right. So um, we're going to open it up to a time of questions here uh, in a moment. But as you came in for the final landing, <laughs> what was that like? <laughs> It was incredible just to, to know that I had worked so hard and it was complete. And when I uploaded that, the final manuscript and all the photos, just an amazing feeling of accomplishment. Like, wow, can't believe I did it. <laughs> can't believe I did it. And now it's so exciting because that was a few months ago and now we get to share it with you guys and we're going to do, we're doing our reveal. Yeah, pretty right soon. Now? Okay. Not yet, but pretty <laughs> <Not> soon. <laughs> Yeah, but there was a point where Kim was like three days out and she just said, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm ready. I've got the, you know, the manuscript part done. I'm, I'm ahead of it. And that was a huge relief for you, yeah. knowing that you were ahead of the game there a little bit because you kind of developed this, um, this groove, right? You kind of started knowing like when was a good time for you to write and where yeah. were you and, and things like that. And so that really helped you get through. And once that clicked, right. it kind of started to flow. And I think if any of you are authors out there, you'll be able to relate to that part. We've heard from other authors that 
yes, you, you find the time that works best for you and it just kind of happens and it just kind of starts to flow. You get in the rhythm. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. like Absolutely. That. Yeah. Um, so some of the people have asked about the photography in the book. Uh, this is an exciting moment uh, for me and my daughter as well because uh, she is uh, getting photo credits in the book. This will be my first photo credits as well. So, so uh, Julianne, where are you? Why don't you come down here? This is our eldest daughter. Really good on camera. Really good. So thank you very she much. She did an amazing job. Camera guy took a bunch of photos and then Jules stepped in because he got really busy at work. And she's one amazing photographer. And not only that, I feel like we got closer working on photography and she was such a huge encouragement to me. A couple of days I said, I can't do this. And she goes, mom, you got this. We got this mom. We're going to work at it together. We got this. So, um, her name's Jules and you can check out her Instagram. She has amazing photography at hoop.deloop, right? Yeah. Hoop.deloop on Instagram. Jules, why don't you, t I'm putting you totally on the spot. This is unrehearsed. <laughs> why don't you put, say a little bit about what it was like to work with mom? Cause you guys, you guys had it going. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not, you're you more honest. You're more organized <laughs> than I am, but it helped because you would have slated like today we need to get this exact number of photos done and like this many setups. And then I feel like when you would kind of be like, oh, this is a lot, like we're kind of getting stuck. I'd be like, but look, we only have like this many photos and this many setups. Like you wrote it down. Like you, you already know what you have to do and like you have it all laid out. So like, let's just do it. And then we would like do it and eat snacks. And <laughs> that was the best part. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was cool. really fun. It was really amazing to watch these two work because Julianne knows the camera so well. She uses the manual mode on the camera, which she just flies through those settings. And um, you, I mean, you were just fast and you were getting the looks Thank mom you. wanted. And when I would try and shoot for mom, uh, for Kim, you know, she would be like, can't you just kind of make it look like how my iPhone makes it look? <laughs> I'm like, no, this is a, you know, this is a real camera. Yeah. But you did it. You managed Thank to get the camera and the pictures are gorgeous. Thank you. Wait till you guys see the pictures. They're amazing. There's 250 color photo photographs, wow. um, mostly out here, some indoor photography, but you guys are absolutely going to love it. So Jules and Jerry, you guys both did an amazing job. Yay. I'm super you proud too. of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's read a little bit. Thank you. Let's read a little bit about some of the comments real quick here. Um, Gina, Wonder Woman says, good job to all the whole family. Thank you. Um, Jules, Instagram is hoop.deloop. Right, Jules? Yep. H-O-O-P dot D-E-L-O-O-P. Nobody went to, no, there we go. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> okay, Karen's asking, will there be a part two to the to a second book? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get through part one first, and then we'll see. We want sequels already. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Reese, thank you so much. It's happy for you. Um, Living Day says, congratulations to you all. Janae, um, hi, Janae. Um, oh. Marina is watching from Japan. Very cool. Good, awesome. good to have you. Um, what a wonderful accomplishment, Linda Cherry says. I'm sure it'll be a big success. success. Thank you very much. Camera guy, you are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, checked in the mail. Did you just make that up? <laughs> no, it's really it's, uh, I'm kidding. Uh, Jakarta, wow. We have some Indonesians. Hey. 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 Yes, so all right. So good to have you. Um, yeah. Amelia <laughs> Chai, I believe I said that right. Uh, Cliff Warren, thank you, Cliff. Oh, so happy I for you. Uh, can't wait to get the book. Thank you. Where's Mac? <laughs> Good question. He's next door. Hey, why isn't he here? Because yeah. oh. he's barking too much. <laughs> All right. So someone's asking, well, what is the book called? Can I get it here in the UK? Um, let's just, should we reveal the cover? I think cover? it's time for the reveal. Are you yeah, guys ready? So. Okay. So Everybody we're, ready? So we're yeah. going to reveal the cover now for the first time we're allowed to do this. And um, then we'll talk a little bit more about how you get a hold of the book, okay? So, here. Drum rolls. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you this, guys.
organic garden for everyone, homegrown vegetables made easy, no experience required. <laughs> <laughs> so in writing this book, I really wanted to communicate to everyone that anyone can do it. I mean, I love growing vegetables and a lot of you guys out there too, but there's some people who feel like they, they just can't do it. It's maybe too much time, maybe it costs too much, or maybe they just don't, they just feel like it's too complicated. And I really want to communicate that anyone can do it. So that's why we ended up piling at this. Homegrown vegetables made easy, and you don't have to have any experience to get started. So the cool thing is, it's gonna be eight and a half by 11 size. Mm. Um, there's gonna be a lot of um, step-by-step -step instructions. Again, photography, so it's gonna be super easy to follow, kind of a guidebook that you can bring out in the garden with you, and just be a lot of fun. It has a lot of personal stories and, and things like that in it too. Yeah, I think one thing that you're gonna like about the book is that I've read excerpts from it, and Kim wrote it in a way that she's talking with you, not at you. And you know that's her style of the videos as well, and I think you're gonna really enjoy that in the read as well. The editors there at the publishing company were very impressed with her writing style. There were very few edits because Kim is such a good writer. Mm -hmm. So good job, hon. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about how they get it and when it ships and things like that. Okay, so the release date is December 10th of this year, right before Christmas, so make great Christmas gifts. However, you can pre-order it right now on my website, callikimgardenandhome.com, and our moderator, Christy, will be putting the link in the chat there. And it's under the My Books tab on our website. There's all kinds of links there where you can get on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, links to independent bookstores, as well as um, uh, locations in the UK, Australia, and Canada. So it'll be available worldwide and in Barnes and Noble stores, physical, physical copies worldwide, hopefully more to come. So make sure you check it out on my website and a little special giveaway we're doing for the first 25 US residents who pre purchase a pre-sale copy and email me their contact information and a proof of receipt, I'll be sending you three free um, of the Cali Kim Seed Packet. So nice. make sure you head over to my website, do that, and then send me a quick email. And that is for US residents only, guys. Sorry about that. Hope you'll be able to do something more international as time goes on. Very good. So super exciting. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it. And honestly, what really helped me write too was thinking of gardening, thinking of my viewers and people who are out there in their gardens and what they want to hear. So that was a big part of my inspiration as well. Right. Very cool. Um, we have a couple of questions. Someone asked, I didn't see who they asked, how did how did you get a publisher? How did all that part work? Well, I have a friend. Her name is Shauna Coronado and she's an author. And a lot of you guys might have seen her blog or read some of her books. And she actually was the person, the first one that said to me, Kim, you got this. And she said, I think you could write a book. And she was able to connect me with the publishing company, Cold Springs Press. And um, then they were very interested and asked me to, to publish a book for them. So please check out her website, show her some love, shawnacoronado.com. And I know she's super excited as well. So I wanna publicly thank her just for seeing that potential in me and saying, go for it. Yeah, she's got, I think 10 books and like a couple of bestsellers on she's, the yeah. New York list or something. Yeah, she's she has a, a great amount yeah. of books there on Amazon or wherever. Click on her website, you find all the information there. Yeah, that was really so. awesome, Shauna. So again, thank you for, for breathing that <laughs> um, you know dream into Kim. You couldn't have done yes. it uh, without you for sure. Um, let's take a couple of questions here. Uh, Sandra Brown asked, please don't cry. If you cry, I'll cry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep, we know, we got that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, such a huge accomplishment, Jessica Luna. Thank you. Uh, your brother Scott is online. Oh, that's awesome. He, Hi, is, Scott. Also, he is also an author, Scott Dewey. Um, Jessica R., we love you. Love your channel. A new book. So excited. Oh, cool Springs Press is in my hometown. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, yeah. And Scott, your brother, says, Of course you got this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Scott. He's been such an encouragement to me. All right. And is that link live now? Right. Yes, the link right. is live, so you can head to our website right now and under the My Books tab, Christy's posting the link in the chat, and check that out. Um, you'll see the cover on there and a little description of, of what's in the book. All right, very cool. Now listen, I'm going to move along here because we have somebody that needs to leave, but we want to introduce you to her really quick. You've seen her before on some of our episodes where we've gone out to uh, her house to help her with her garden, and uh, this is Angelica. <laughs> Would you mind coming out here? Yay! 
So, uh, you guys remember her. She is just adorable and an incredible mother as well with her kids and stuff. Um, you guys have any questions uh, for I Angelica? I actually or want to say, say something. Sure. Angelica, don't make me cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Angelica's story is actually in my book because I'm so inspired. She didn't think she could grow vegetables. She was one of those people. She said to me, I'll do it when my kids are older. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Haley Amos just pre-ordered the book already oh, yay, from Amazon. Yay, yay. That's <laughs> cool. In, in um, the UK. In the UK. That's I crazy. I saw Pat Sorry Sala. Pat Sala did too. Oh, Pat Sala did too. And the plasters are on in Idaho. Our friends oh. are Irish cousins in Idaho. Right on. So Angelica on. Was one of, was said to me, I'm not going to be able to do it till my kids are older. And then one day she came to me and said, okay, I'm ready. I'm going to do it. What should I do? So I told her. She went and did it, and the story's all in the book. You guys might have heard it on a video. I don't know if we actually told it on video or not. We did. We might have. Yeah. But, um, and then now she, she got into it and absolutely loves growing it, and she started with lettuce, which is I the know. best thing to start In the with. window. Yeah. yeah. In the window. Yeah. So share a little bit about how you've grown, what you've learned, and what you would say to others who are still on the fence, but like, oh, I can't do this. It never worked. I've tried it before. <laughs> yeah, well, I just listening to you talk about the kind of emotions that you went through in starting the book and not really sure if you could go through with it, it reminds me of how I kind of felt, too. I just wasn't wow. sure if I could do it, and then until one day I just kind of realized just jump into it, and then all your help, obviously, I could have done it without all of your instruction, and... Um, the check-ins that we had were really great. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been an awesome experience. And you definitely expanded from that little window box of lettuce. I did. Yes, <laughs> I have my smart pot garden now, and I'm even oh, experimenting. Great. And I'm not freaking out when things don't work. And oh, I'm going to be making my own grow box this summer. Yay! So yeah, I had to kind of switch up. I tried to put seeds out on their own without growing them indoors because we have cats now who like to lounge in my form of growing space. So that didn't oh, work no. out. So I'm going to make a grow box this summer and kind of start over. And I'm excited about it. It's just, you know. So maybe we should come going. do another video. Anytime. Do you guys think we should go do another video at Helica's house? I think that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Woo! That's Happy awesome. Well, I'm super proud of you. I'm and very glad that you were able to come today and be with us. Thank you for having me. I'm I know really your kids happy. are loving it too, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. They wish they could be here. Husband. They're home actually gardening right now because they had to pull a couple of things out that didn't work. So I put them to work while I was here. That's great. Yeah. Art says, I remember the pineapple in Angelica's garden. Did you have pineapple? Yes. That's right, you did. And for about Way three go, days, Art. I thought, man, it smells really fruity out here. It must be my pineapple. And it took me about a week to realize that something had eaten a hole through it. Oh. So that was kind of a bummer. That's why I smelled all the pineapple juice. Nobody else enjoyed it. But have you fun with it. We'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it again next time. Does anyone have any questions? I'm talking to the computer. Does anyone have any questions for Angelica? <laughs> Throw them down here real quick, and then she needs to take off uh, just, uh, to another appearance. She's just so busy. <laughs> All right, the garden so party. <laughs> any other questions for her? Someone had said, what is Angelica looking forward to growing next? Oh. What are you looking forward to growing next? Great um, question. I got some onions in um, a seed packet. I can't remember which packet because I have quite a bit, but... Um, the, and the onions didn't quite work out. They were little small bulbs that never really panned out because I think I didn't initially grow them indoors. But I ate them anyway, <laughs> just oh. like kind of right out of the dirt because they smelled so good. And even at that tiny stage, they were really tasty. So I'm excited to try those again. Oh, cool. I, don't, I don't know what onion that could have been. They were kind of purple. Oh, probably the red um, burgundy onion, maybe. Yes, that was this, it. Did you just see? Yeah. This? Okay. Yeah. Probably red burgundy onion. Yeah. So those are. I'm excited to get those right. Cool. Okay, Ezra Church asks, do you guys have a show? We This is our show right now is YouTube, but we are more than willing to talk to Chip and Joanna Gaines. Yes, sir. <laughs> know them, if they're watching, send them our way. We would love to talk and have coffee. <laughs> and uh, right. Good Dirt was actually, was also asking you, oh, yeah, what's, your, what's your favorite thing to grow? My favorite thing to grow, well, first of all, I love Good Dirt. All My entire garden is Good Dirt now, and I feel oh, like really dear. lucky to have the entire garden. Um, uh, with that kind of dirt. My favorite thing, I really love strawberries. I think because the town I'm originally from is known for their strawberry strawberries. So every time I get a little one growing, it just kind of reminds me of my childhood and reminds me of my hometown, hometown. And I actually just picked a few this morning. And even though they're about that big, they're not as big as yours. My husband's like, ooh, you know, he gets so excited to Aww. see that we grew them. So probably nice. strawberries, yeah. Oh, good. 
looking so yummy. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. I don't see any other questions. Right. Everyone says hi though, so thank you so right. much. Bye everybody. Take care. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, next special guest that we have in our studio, oops, in our garden audience today is uh, <laughs> you've seen her in our, I think our second spring garden series. Um, you all remember Mary Jo, she is here today as well. She agreed to come down and say hello to everyone. So Mary Jo, come on down. Mary Jo. You might not recognize her. Hey, my friend. So proud of you. Thank you. Uh, so thank proud. you. So excited. And Mary Jo is also my hiking buddy. Yep. So we, we are together <laughs> regularly, not as regularly as I would like to, but we're going to get back we're into gonna it. We're going to get back to it for sure. For yeah. Sure. So yeah. tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since that first series and some of the things you've encountered. Gardening. Uh, gardening? Uh, last year I had a humongous, did both garden, the front and the back garden, which were huge. Mm -hmm. And we were on vacation and the heat came. Oh as fierce as it was last summer yeah. and I came back and I was really discouraged oh, but I stuck with it got all my cloth stuff just like you taught me the shade my, cloth? yep my shade cloth Yay. and uh, my neighbors must have thought I was crazy because see the whole backyard was covered completely with <laughs> so, wow. yeah Stephanie Cervantes says we love you Mary Jo oh. <laughs> so has some fans out there so sweet. <laughs> you got a following out there I know and Great I channel I, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I did broccoli um for the first time, I grabbed just plants because this winter was a little busy, so I mm -hmm. just got transplants and threw them in. And I did not know that once you're done with them, they seed to these yellow, really pretty flowers. Beautiful. Yes. So I've left them just to oh, look nice. at them, so they're really pretty. So. The bees love those flowers. Yes. And they're also edible. Oh, I yeah. did not know that. So you can pop those flowers on your salads. I didn't know that. So good. <laughs> yeah. So I haven't done a spring garden. Mm -hmm. It's busy with work in my family, so I need to really... I was really sad that I missed doing my garlic like I had done before because oh, okay. all my garlic from my garden is gone so I'm really sad so I'm definitely planning to make sure that I get into the winter garden. Good. Good. I'm well, up to. I'm glad you caught the bug. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I would not have been able to, like your uh, niece said, there's no way uh, because before you had helped me I would have never gardened and it never got through that process. So thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Really it's a pleasure. Yay. <laughs> Having it speak to me just but that step by step because that's what I really need. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people when you helped me, I had to go to the steps, <laughs> steps and go through them specifically. Well, but, good. There'll be a lot of that in the book, really broken down for people to understand easily. Okay. So good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for being here. Yep. Black Friday. Yep. Right. Enjoy your garden. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me take a look in the chat here, you guys. It's a lot of fun. Uh -huh. And let's see. Jules, would you mind giving the umbrella out of the frame? Uh, little people saying hi to Mary Jo. Andrea also pre ordered. Thank you so much, hey, Andrea. Hey. We have Mary Jo, Santa Ana Road Wildman says, Mary Jo, how about a YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> Good dirt. Oh, wow. Good Dirt is saying, Kim, we will offer Good Dirt with the books to the first 25 people oh, wow. that purchase. So, guys, thank you. Good Dirt, that was amazing. That's Alan and totally Susie amazing. are good friends of ours, and they're watching from North Carolina. You guys, that is absolutely incredible. <laughs> so, make sure you guys email me your contact information and proof of um, purchase, and we'll arrange that. All right, very good. Now we're gonna move on here and I wanna introduce you to another person because this is a funny story. Uh, we didn't really start t telling people about our channel when we started years ago. We just wanted to keep it low key and um, we, just, we just didn't tell a lot of people about it. So Kim would work uh, catering jobs uh, with the, the company and the woman that actually is catering this event for us because we were just so busy. It's our neighbor. It was, it was our neighbor and uh, Connie, are you back here? Are you down? It Come on down Connie. real quick. Connie. So <laughs> Connie and Kim, <laughs> Connie and Kim were working an event together, but Kim had never told Connie that she is a gardener and a YouTube gardener. So you take it from there. <laughs> I'll step out. You well, it. Connie all of a sudden says one day when we were working, by the way, what? I don't know if you remember this, Connie. I was searching YouTube for how to grow watermelon, and oh. guess what popped up? <laughs> <laughs> One of my most viewed videos, I think, on how to grow uh, watermelon. The most beautiful yellow watermelon. 
because you were surprised yes. too when you cut open it. The first it time I did it. You're right. And you have inspired us. We have grown watermelons every year since. Connie and her husband are amazing gardeners. We got tomatoes grown, but we are the gardeners like who will benefit from that book. In fact, yeah. I just tried to order it, but I have to get on my daughter's Amazon account to oh. do it. <laughs> you know how that goes. You know how that goes. But you, we would take gardening books out into the garden because we didn't really know what we were doing. And then finally, I said, "When they, this has got to be easier because." So we went to your YouTube. Okay. But we did it always both together in tandem with a book. And then your voice and your guidance. Aww. So we love that. We yeah, watch we all the that. time. Oh yeah. Wow. So it's if you're if anybody can garden, if I can garden and my husband can garden, <laughs> who's ne never picked and he, he needed a hobby and um, it's just caught on. Just like all of this beautiful, everything you grow here catches on and catches your heart and catches your soul. Mm. Can't wait to see the book That's and those true. pictures. It is part of your heart and soul. Once you get the bug, you don't stop. <laughs> it's terrible. If, like, any, oh, thanks, if anyone else uh, took a book out into the garden with them, that's the first I've heard of that. My, my Let books, us know in the chat. I'd like to hear about that. My books all have dirt in them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes total sense. Dirty pages. Yeah. Dirty hands. The potatoes. Have you done potatoes yet? I did them one time. We're not big potato eaters. And it just got too hot for them. They didn't do so good. I've got some potatoes just about ready to harvest, but that's what happens when you find a bag of sprouted potatoes that your child left in her car. <laughs> so, you, so they are... They're in, in a tub and oh we'll my just goodness. see how they grow. You gotta tell me how they turn out. I will. Thank Aw, you. thanks, Connie. That's mm -hmm. awesome. All right. Well. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Let's do that. Um, hey, Armando, can you just verify that you can hear? Just check your volume there for us, real quick. Okay. So we are going to bring up our last uh, special guest now. And um, Kim, do you want to do the introduction? Sure, yeah. I'm put you on the spot, sorry. It's okay. So, Brian, come on up. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Oh, well, no, I said yes, and I was like, I don't care if it's so I could have said that. So, guys, I met Brian, on, Brian actually on email. He, he uh, watched our email or watched our videos and then he emailed me one day, and I think you asked if you could maybe do a video and show some of my seeds or whatever. Yep. So I was like, yeah, that'd be great. And I, I sent you some seeds. Uh -huh. And then- um, I had the first resealable waterproof package. Right, you did, yeah, uh, the very first one. And then um, just in talking, we were starting to uh, develop the kids' garden series. And he has a couple kids that are interested in gardening or one son is interested in gardening. And so we just kind of connected that way. And I ended up asking him if we could come over and film at his house with the kids' garden series. And we did a couple videos with you and we've gotten to be friends. He has a YouTube channel as well, California Garden TV, which is just exploding and doing amazing right now. And we're just really thankful that you and your wife could join us today. Well, so thank you for being a part of it. <laughs> Honored to be here. And, um, we were touched when you when we got the text from Jerry saying this is happening. Um, I had already told you for six years, I think, I've been watching you. Oh. And you inspired me for six years as a home gardener. And now as a YouTube gardener, you guys have both been uh, an incredible support. Oh, thank, thank you, you for that. And I'm so proud that you have this book and you're going to be reaching around the world in so many different ways and helping people you know, that probably wouldn't have the opportunity to do what you're teaching. And, thank and you. it's amazing. Thank you. We're super excited you could be here and excited to share it with everybody else, too. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, I've been watching chat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, California Garden TV has the most awesome tropical backyard. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. It is incredible. Uh, when we went to film there, I was, I felt like I was at Adventureland, at Disneyland. <laughs> Sorry, oh, but amazing. and that yeah. was winter. You should see it now. Okay. Well, you guys gotta check out his channel. It's yes. just incredible. All the blue colors. It just there's so much bright color. It's just really pretty. Yeah, and he also built all that. Can't hear. Painted all that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Try. Yeah. Um, Sorry, you guys. We have to speak up too. Is this better? <laughs> love California Garden TV Garden and love his videos too from Luz. That's great, Luz. Thank, thank you, you Luz. so much. Uh, let us know in the chat if the sound is a little bit better there. What I was saying earlier was that Brian also builds everything. His wife, who is in the audience here as well today, uh, helps him on the technical side with filming and and sound and close-up shots and things like that. So it's really cool to see them working together and having them both here today. 
and Tammy is saying California Garden TV. Thank you for all the awesome tips. My my kids love our purple carrots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of fun. The purple carrots, yeah. purple on the outside, orange, orange on the inside. inside. They're super tasty. <laughs> yeah, and if you haven't checked him out yet um, on his channel, he just has this voice that I just go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so relaxing. Yeah. So make sure you go uh, visit his channel right after this, okay? Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, Brian. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for being here, Brian. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wrap up then. Have we left anything out? Um, I don't think so. Let's see if there's any other questions we can answer here. Book signing um, tour? What's that? Book signing tour? Book signing tour. Asking. Um, We will be arranging all that. I mean, this all is just, you know, brand new, but we're definitely going to be doing some things like that too, some fun things. Yeah, we can't really say what they are, but we will say that Kim will be on the road, I, I feel like, this year. So we'll keep you posted with that, and we might... Mm -hmm. You know that might tie into it as well so things are brewing for sure okay so let's see if there's any other questions here uh <laughs> much better okay great yeah what? you know this whole live stream stuff is a whole different animal we just i can't get the sound stuff dialed <laughs> in so thank you guys for your patience okay people are asking how do i get a signed book from sandra I will have copies, um, we'll probably put together some kind of um, package with some seeds and things like that as soon as the books are available in December. So at that point in time, we'll be doing some signed copies um, via my website. Okay, Katie says come to Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to go to Idaho and we'll see Cliff while we're up there too. <sighs> okay. Did you okay. see the super chat? Um, no, we missed the super chat. Sorry guys. Yeah, I saw one go by. But um, but I didn't catch the name on that. So thank you for the super chat. Christy, if you could post who super chatted or. All right, so our sound is better. Nova Scotia would like us to stop by on the book tour. I will go to Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah, you got it. let's go. We need a place to stay. Jessica, <laughs> pre-order Jessica's my cousin, my niece actually. <laughs> she pre-ordered, thank you Jessica. I don't got you a sound, sound copy eventually. So, sound off if you pre-ordered. Oh, thank yeah. <laughs> you. Uh, Travis is asking what Brian's channel is called. It is called California Garden TV. Right. Santa Ana Road. Well, man, there's a Barnes and Noble near here in Gilroy. Can you do a signing? We'll do our best to arrange that. So we're all kind of in the process of arranging all those details right now. Very good. So is, take... is the author, yes, the author name is Callie Kim. So the book oh. cover will look exactly like this. You can search Callie Kim on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Um, Kelly Kim's book or organic gardening for everyone and it should pop up on Google or on different bookseller websites so what we're gonna do now is actually we're gonna leave the camera on we're gonna wrap up here formally but um, we're gonna um, give you all a chance to take a picture with Kim and the book cover thingy and you can post it now we're allowed to go onto social media with the book cover and um, you know with the title of the book and all that stuff so we're gonna leave the camera running um, get in your goodbyes if you have any now and then people can come up and take pictures with Kim and stuff and, All right. Sounds great. Okay. Sounds good everyone. Thank you all for being here. We had a great time Thanks for your patience with the sound and um, I'm gonna do a little quick shuffle and get you all set up. Okay, okay sounds good and camera guy's name is Jerry <laughs> yeah. I ask you what your name is um, And I want to thank you guys too just for all your support just for being behind us being our inspiration and we love you guys and we're super super excited to share our passion what we love to do with you and my hope and my dream is that it really helps people grow their own vegetables but it goes way beyond that it's, it's not only rewarding to have your own fresh tasty food but it really changes lives and i know there are a lot of you out there whose lives have been changed um i know one of them is our moderator christy everything sunflowers and more she had a health condition and because of you know growing her own food she's able to really change her health not only through depression but her physical health around and we just get emails every single week that for those same stories so thank you guys so much and i really appreciate being a part of this today and we're just going to hang out here for a while take some pictures and have some fun so hopefully you can hang out and join us with that too all right so if someone want to take a picture with Kim, there you go <laughs> me yeah go for it should i leave it on the easel or go. Or whatever you want to do it, Kim. Okay. Oh, you're going to hold it? I think maybe see right here. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little awkward to hold it. Put it in the shade, though. Yeah. It's my photographer daughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, 
Thanks, Jules. Yep, yep. Pretty snappy. Yes. Yes. Do you want me to stand on that side? Uh oh. (laughs) Selfie style. Maybe I should stand next to you. Maybe if you do want. Or someone could take the picture for us. Let me take it. Got a chair here. No, you, you go for it. Yes, please. Okay. I thought you were going to take a picture of me. (laughs) I can do that, too. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, Okay, now we're good. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. You see the camera thingy over there? Oh, she's never seen you? Yeah, on yeah, the phone. Um, sorry. Okay, one, two, three. All right. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you, friend. I don't even have my phone. Thank you. Do you want one? Yeah, I do. But he can go first. Yeah. So, another thing. I'm still doing photos on your mind. All right. Do I do the shot? Seeing it like in the flash, you know. All right, looky here. I have with my son. Um, um, why don't you go over to where Kim other other was? Okay. It's a little bit prettier. Of a, yes. Yeah, there you Background. go. You know that. All right. 
right, now Kim, take a step to your right to get out of the sun up your face. Yes. Moss more. Oh, that's perfect. One, two, and three, guys. Beautiful. All right, everybody. Are you ready to see my photo? Oh, I can do it. No, no, come on. I was just going to sign up. Let's do it. I got a photo of my hiking and gardening buddies in this book. All right, you get in there and I'll take it. Okay. I'll, I'll get it to you. So pretty. Jules, did you do all these photographs or were they yours? Some I think might be mine and some are um, yes. dad's, yeah. Right, we have some far apart? No. Okay, well, we'll take one and then okay. we can stand there. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's a great idea, like that. <laughs> no, let's together. Marvelous. Three, two, um, what looks better? Yeah, no, that was good. I just can throw the, the blanket over that garble of cords, would you? There we go. This was a great shot, you guys. All right, three and two and one. Nice. Very nice. All right, I'll come stand over there with you. Oh, okay. One more. One more uh, angle here. That's really cute. All right, three, two, one. Beautiful. Thanks, MJ. I can't it. I know. Mm -hmm. Well, I yeah, actually talks over what I do. Do you want to hike? Yes, we would. Mary Jo wasn't on the secret. <laughs> Sorry, I was. She's one of my best friends. <laughs> MJ, you want to get one? Yeah, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You want me to do it? You don't want Julianne to do it? Jules, can you do yeah. your camera too? My camera? I can't even see. That's why I switched to my phone. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll try to remember my squaring lessons you gave me here the other day. Now, I can't see your faces in here, so I have no idea without my glasses, how beautiful your smiles are. Okay. So be ready, okay? I can see you, but I can't really see your smile. So. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to get it squared just like you taught me. I think I did good. Okay. December 10th, Kim? You want to sign off? Sure, yeah, I guess we'll just sign off. Um, I gotta, I wanna see what officially sign off. Sign off. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just check okay, guys. to look at comments and things and then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Alright, oh yeah, we gotta move close here. Um, all right, guys, I just want to thank you again for taking the time out of your Saturday to join us here. It was so much fun to share this with you guys. And thank you to those of you that pre-ordered. Really appreciate all your support. And anything else? Here? No, I'm just having a blast reading okay. the comments. <laughs> okay, and yeah, you can rewatch the live stream if yeah, you missed it. It'll upload, um, and you can watch the replay. It's probably available like within a half an hour or so. So I think that's it, guys. Santa Ana, thanks for everything, all your encouraging words. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully when we're out on the road with the book tour, we can see some of you guys at wherever we're at, signing books or whatever. So. Right. Okay, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you, Mariana, thank you. She says she loves your dress. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And Jessica, we miss you. Have fun in Kansas City. And we will see you guys on the next video. All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. I'll just wait here to do it.